hello all welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm going to be doing a tutorial on using these fake tattoos that I found on Amazon now I saw someone do this I can't remember if it was on Instagram or TikTok, but I decided that I wanted to give it a try so you just apply it like you would put a tattoo on yourself I took the plastic film off of the front of it flipped it upside down place it in the tray and then took a wet cloth and damp in the back and then as soon as I felt like it was moist enough I pulled the back sleeve off of it to reveal the tattoo which is now face down on the front part of the tray. Now in this next clip I'm going to be showing you all the items used. The uh, red plum dried flowers some mica pigments from Baltic Day in stone, rhubarb red, and some copper flakes, all of which I purchased from Amazon. In this clip, you're actually going to be seeing me placing these little flower petals in each of these molds. This took a little bit of time. I'm not going to talk too much through this. You can get the gist of what I'm doing here. So now I'm going to be pouring a clear layer of resin which I've mixed off camera. It does take quite a bit of time to make sure everything is all mixed in together. And I'm just placing a clear layer down at the bottom of the mold just so that I can get those little petals covered up. I kind of wanted to have a, a little clear effect in these trays and the coasters. The resin that I chose to use for this tutorial is Promarine Art Supplies resin. I've been using Promarine since I started making resin art and I absolutely love this resin. I love how clear it gets once your project is done. Um, easy instructions to follow. Just a very good quality resin. As far as the design goes, there was no rhyme or reason. I just randomly put lines where I felt comfortable putting them, and I didn't really want to cover up any of those flowers. 
And then I just kind of went back and forth between the rhubarb red and the stone color. And then you'll see me randomly place the copper flakes in any clear areas. It's just to fill in the voids.
this is our final result for the first layer. I decided to use some glitter in the next one to give it just a little bit of a pop and this glitter is absolutely beautiful. I bought it at Michael's. It's the Spin It brand. That's another Tumblr maker company and I can't quite remember the name of the color right now. If I do, I'll leave it down in the description box below. Alright, now it's time to unmold these trays. They came out so pretty. I love the design thus far. I can't wait to get these up in my shop when they are completely finished. And here is a close-up of the trays before we put our final layer of epoxy to seal in those fake tattoos. And here is our final layer of clear resin going on to seal in everything and then you can see the end result at the end of this video.
thank you all for watching my video i hope you enjoyed this tutorial of me making my trays and coasters if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel leave a comment and a like and i will see you in the next one